Can you imagine being one of the tallest wingers in the world and at the same time having incredible dribbling, speed, a phenomenal shot and creativity like no other in the world? If you do, you could easily have the potential to be one of the best the game has ever seen. Yes, Rafael Leao is truly a remarkable player and AC Milan could actually be grateful that they have a gem who is wanted by basically every team in Europe. But what actually makes Leao so impressive? Well, to answer this question, let's take a look at Leao's journey since his days as a kid. Early life and how his talent saved him from poverty. Rafael Leao was born on June 10th, 1999 in a city located near Lisbon called Almada. Like most footballers who become superstars, Leao was also born into a poor family along with his three siblings. He started his interest in football at an early age. And when he was seven, he started playing for the small local team Amora, having the full financial and moral support of his family. In 2008, when he was nine years old, one of the teams with the best academy for developing young talent, Sporting CP, saw the potential in Leao and decided to bring him in. So for eight years, Leao went through the entire youth system of Sporting. His talent was so bright that scouts and coaches claimed he had the full potential to surpass even the greatest Portuguese footballers, Cristiano Ronaldo and Eusebio. Nine years as a junior, three months as a first team player. After more than nine years as an academy player, Leao made his senior debut for Sporting, even though it was for the reserve team. It was against Braga B in May 2017. Yes, you might also think that Leao made his first team debut much later than other super talents of his caliber. After all, the speedster played his first game in Portugal's elite Primeira Liga in February 2018, replacing veteran Brian Ruiz, already being 19 years old. Also, despite spending more than half of his life in Sporting's training academy, he only played four games for the men's team, and that within three months between February and May 2018. Leao's non-footballing challenges in Sporting However, the turn of events for Sporting CP was certainly not going as they planned it. Leao, as well as a huge part of the team, coaching staff and management, fell victim to an attack by fans of the team. This in turn left some players with no choice but to ask for their contracts to be terminated and continue their careers elsewhere. While Leao actually made a brilliant choice of not accepting an offer from a top European club, but instead choosing a team in which he could play regularly and develop his full potential. Thus, he switched as a free agent to the French side Lille. However, his problems in the summer of 2018 didn't end there. Leao seemingly finalised his move to Lille, but subsequently, it turned out that his contract with Sporting wasn't officially terminated. This prompted FIFA to weigh in with a stance on the case, and Lille paid just under half the buyout clause Leao had at Sporting. 20.2 million euros. Finally, Rafa Leao to Lille. Here we go. And with all the transfer issues in the past, it was now showtime from Liao in Lille. Also, it's safe to say that at the time, Lille wasn't as successful as it is in the last three years. And one of the reasons for the team's revival was Rafa Leao. The Portuguese was that breath of fresh air in terms of creativity and sharpness in the attack. And fortunately, Leao brought in exactly those qualities with his arrival to the team. When it comes to his stats in a single season at Lille, Rafa wasn't as impressive as he was on the pitch. Eight goals and three assists in 26 games in the 2018-19 season. However, the team was actually stacked with some brilliant talent. Together with Nicolas Pepe, Jonathan Bamba, Loic Remy, Mike Mignon and Gabriel Magalhães. That attacking and defensive force completely changed the background of the team and after Lille finished 17th in League One, the season before Leao's arrival, the 2018-19 campaign was a completely different story. Second in the standings and qualifying for the Champions League for the first time in five years. This huge success actually solved a major part of Lille's financial problems and in the summer of 2019, Leao decided to make the move to an even bigger club, AC Milan. The Italian giant scouting team was following Leao all season long and in the end Milan paid nearly 50 million euros for the then 20-year-old. Interestingly, in his place arrived another current Serie A star, Victor Osimen. AC Milan, when the whole world found out who Rafa Leao was. His time in Milan, however, didn't start well, not at all. His first two seasons definitely weren't disasters, but let's just say that they were a big step back from his performance for Lille in the 2018-19 season. 
AC Milan was expecting a lot more from Leal, based on his talent and the transfer fee they splashed on him. And probably the pressure of the high amount paid, and the fact he was playing for one of the biggest clubs in Europe, was putting a lot of weight on his shoulders. He had 8 goal contributions in the 1920 season and 13 in 2021, but he didn't have the major role in the team he was hoping for. Well, when you need help, Big Zlatan will always be there for you. Yes, lately Leao's opened up on his relationship with Ibrahimovic, saying that he was the man who brought his career to the next level. Leao told the 19F podcast that Zlatan taught him some valuable lessons on how to raise his game. When I played well, he didn't speak to me. Only when I played badly, he concentrated a lot on the details. Then, during the 2021-22 preseason, something just clicked in Leao's game and he started playing fabulously. He had 14 goals and 10 assists to his name, having some very memorable performances. For example, the winners against Sampdoria and Fiorentina and the two assists to Tonali in the 3-1 comeback victory against Verona. However, the most iconic for all Milan fans in that season was the last round of the season against Sassuolo, when Leao bagged a hat-trick of assists and the Rossoneri became champions of Italy for the first time in 11 years. That campaign, he was also awarded the best Serie A player of the season. He even drew comparisons to Kylian Mbappe and Mario Balotelli based on his style of play. Not only that, his teammate in sporting, Bruno Fernandes, even stated that Leao reminds him of the Brazilian Ronaldo, with his speed, technique and explosiveness in decisive moments, being qualities that have emerged every game to drag Milan towards great results. In terms of his individual class, 2022-23 was even more successful for him, with 27 goal involvements for Milan in all competitions. In addition, Leao was instrumental in the Rossoneri reaching the Champions League semi-finals. You probably all remember that magical solo run assist against Napoli, when he just put it on a plate for Olivier Giroud at the Estadio Diego Maradona. Yes, between 2021 and 2023, Leao was certainly one of the most dangerous wingers in the world. But at the start of the current season, he seems to have dropped his level again. Yes, he's still dangerous, he's still scoring and assisting goals, but he's surely not as sharp as before, and he often does some hilarious things on the pitch. Just look at his miss against Newcastle in Milan's first Champions League match this campaign. The Rossoneri had to set off in a positive way, hosting Newcastle at San Siro. Milan had a lot of chances, but certainly the most stupendous was in the 34th minute when Leao dribbled through the whole of the defence of the opponent and just had to put the ball in the back of the net, but instead tried to take a backheel shot which failed miserably. Well, at the time, fans called that a stupid miss. But you know what? If Leao scored that one, Milan could have been playing Champions League football right now. However, even though he dropped his form a bit, he is still that dangerous player. Realistically speaking, he has 10 goals and 9 assists in 37 games this season and keeps scoring his trademark goals from distance, cutting inside and shooting the ball into the top far corner. Just look at this banger versus Sparta Prague in the Europa League. Just a beauty to watch. More facts about Rafael Leal. When it comes to his national team career, his peak moments so far were undoubtedly his two goals in the 2022 World Cup. He scored the winner in the 3-2 victory against Ghana, as well as a long-distance beauty against Switzerland in the round of 16. However, he didn't have a major role in the tournament, but this would surely change in the future if he continues like this. And why shouldn't this happen at this year's Euro 2024? Especially since most of Portugal's forwards, like João Felix, Cristiano Ronaldo and Diego Jota, are not at their best. Apart from his display on the pitch, Leao also performs as a rapper, releasing his music under the name Way45. If you're interested, you can listen to his music on any popular platform for this purpose. If you enjoyed this video, you can give us a like or subscribe to the channel so you can never miss any of our future uploads. Also, you can go back and check some of our latest analysis and stories all about Serie A. Now bye and see you in the next one.